Mmm, coffee's good. All right, problem 11. Consider a long cylindrical charge distribution. Consider a long cylindrical charge distribution of radius r with a uniform charge density of rho. Find the electric field at a distance r from the axis where r is less than big R. Use any variable or symbol stated above along with the following as necessary, epsilon naught. Okay, so this feels like Gauss's law. So, I'm going to start with Gauss's law and see where this leads us. It'll be like an exciting scavenger hunt. Except we don't actually know when we find what we're looking for. Hmm. All right. Ooh, is this teal? I think that's teal. We're, we're going to teal this up. E equals, no, we're doing Gauss's law. Gauss's law. Flux electric equals Q enclosed over epsilon naught equals surface integral, surface integral of E dot dA. There we go. And we're going to draw a picture. Zoom in a little bit so that we get a... So long cylindrical charge, like so. And we're going to have a electric field at some point on the inside. So this is the Gaussian surface right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a side look or maybe a head-on look, I don't know, with a circle of this shape, looking like this. Hmm. We're going to stick with the teal theme. And then we're going to have another circle like that, but we're going to make it a different shade of blue. All right. So here, line this guy up reasonably well. Not well, just reasonably well. So then we have this guy here. Yeah, I'll do some red for contrast. This guy here is big R. This guy here is little r. There we go. So we need to find what Q enclosed is going to be. So I'm going to say Q enclosed. Ah, they're giving us they gave us a row, didn't they? They gave us row. Rho. All right, so I'm going to start with Rho. So Rho is uh, charge density, or, yeah, density, which is like normal density, except normal density uses mass. Charge density equals uh, charge. So we're going to use a small amount of charge for a small amount of volume, which means that a small amount of charge equals uh, Rho times whatever small amount of volume you have. So for a Q enclosed, um, it'll be rho times volume. Um, I could do it all in terms of uh, integral, but it's all constant, so it'll just be the small amount of volume when integrated will just be the large part of volume. Um, so now we need to find the volume of the inner cylinder, which will be Rho, no, that's not actually the volume, but the volume will be, let's see, pi r squared. I'm going to say pi r squared, which is small r, times length, which is the length of the cylinder. I think they said long, which long basically means infinite. So I'm mostly just going to hope that that L somewhere cancels out in life. So that this right here is Q enclosed. This part's the volume. This part is charge density. I'm not going to write that very well. There we go. All right, so now we need to do the other parts. So we have electric field. Don't know what that is. Epsilon naught. We know what that is. It's just a constant. So with this here, though, what we're going to do is we're going to um, electric field along the uh, axis of the um, cylinder is going to be constant. So we're going to pull out the electric field, and we're just going to be left with a uh, surface integral, which will be 
uh, surface area of a cylinder, which will be 2 pi r, will be the circle right here, the circumference of the circle, times length. All right? So now we're going to put it all together, and we have rho times pi r squared times length over 2 pi r. Whoa, what did I? No, no, no. Epsilon naught. Because this is Q enclosed, this is epsilon naught right here. We're going to this part here, which equals electric field times 2 pi rl. All right? Get out a different color just so I can emphasize the uh, canceling. Hmm, there we go. This might be good. So the L's will cancel, good, because it was infinite and that'd make life difficult. One of the R's cancels, that's also convenient. Two pi cancels, nope, just the pi cancels. So, no, not the pi. That's okay, it wasn't real pi anyway. E equals rho times R over two epsilon naught. Yeah, I think that's the entire answer, right there. E equals rho times r over 2 epsilon naught. Nice. That might actually be worth memorizing in life. Nah, no it's not. All right, so the concept here and we know that r is inside r. Yep. So this is saying that the electric field actually gets stronger the further out you go. Well, that's true, and it makes sense, because if, as, as the further out you go, the more uh, charge you're going to be encompassing. So normally how you think of electric fields die over distances, they still die over distances, but you're picking up more charge to compensate for that. If we had the radius was bigger than the radius of the cylinder, i.e. small r was bigger than big R, then we would see a different formula, and as it got bigger, you wouldn't be picking up more charge, and we wouldn't be able to use the assumption over here that Q enclosed is just whatever the volume of the cylinder uh, encompasses. So this is how you do this specific problem. Just uh, using Gauss's law, getting familiar with it, and going through this process of uh, volume charge density, writing up Gauss's law, and then finding a volume, and then finding a surface area, setting things equal to each other, and canceling out as necessary. All right? Make sense? Sounds good. All right, on to the next problem.